Hello children, this video is for those students who were absent on the day when experiment was conducted in the school laboratory. So in this video I am just going to give a brief description that what we had done on that day. So here you can see that the aim of the experiment on what factors the rate of cooling of water depends. I have written here some of the factors. The number one is volume. The second is the surface area. Third one is material. And the fourth is insulation. Let me explain uh, all these factors one by one. The first one is volume. So in the volume that uh, we will vary the volume of the water in a container and then we will perform the experiment. In the second factor that is surface area, we will going to change the surface area of the containers and in the third case the material so material we can have a plastic container we may have a, a glass beaker and then we have a steel beaker we have a copper beaker so we can change the material on finding how the material is changed the rate of cooling and the fourth one is the insulation here insulation means that uh, if I take a copper vessel and if I surround the copper vessel with a material like uh, a cotton or maybe a wool to protect the heat uh, it cannot go out from the uh, system so these are the four factors which we are going to discuss for example in case of volume, you can see here in this diagram, I have taken a container, the same container in all these cases. This is a suppose it's our glass beaker, glass beaker, glass beaker. And all the beakers are filled with different volume of water. Here you can see this is 250 ml. In the second beaker, this is filled with a water, hot water with 200 milliliter volume, and the third one is. 100 ml. So when we fill the hot water in this glass beaker, then immediately we have to put a thermometer. So this is your thermometer to measure the temperature. You know the thermometers, their scales are mentioned. So when we put our thermometer in this glass vessel at that time, then you will see that the temperature start rising, rising and rising and after a certain interval of time it stops. Then at that time you have to record the reading and you can see that in this table when the time t equal to 0 second so you have to record the initial reading on the thermometer. For example, uh, initial reading on the thermometer is 70 degrees Celsius. Then after that you have to take a uh, stopwatch and uh, you switch on the stopwatch and uh, you have to take the readings and in this table you can see you have to record the reading at after each and every 30 seconds for example when the temp when the time is 0 second so that we have considered the initial temperature 70 degrees celsius so as the time is going on it's going on after 30 seconds immediately you have to see the reading in the thermometer so just consider if after 30 seconds the temperature fall by 1 degree and now the temperature is 69 and the stopwatch is going on, the time is going on. Next in 30 seconds then you have to uh, record the reading, you have to find the temperature on the thermometer and then you have to write the value in this table. Suppose here this value is 67. So in this way you have to proceed your experiment till 600 seconds. 600 second means you have to perform the experiment till 6 minutes and you have to write down, you have to measure the reading uh, uh, from the thermometer in this table. So then you have to repeat the experiment means you have to put this thermometer in the second beaker and you have to fill the hot water and remember children you have to maintain the initial temperature constant in each experiment. So when you put the thermometer, remember you have to maintain the temperature constant in this uh, temperature of the water constant. 
So initial temperature here we have taken 70 degrees Celsius. So we have to maintain the temperature, initial temperature here also 70 degrees Celsius. And the, in the same way, you have to record the reading in the next table for the second observation. And then similarly, in the third uh, beaker, we have taken the small in 100 ml. Again, you have to put a thermometer with the help of the stopwatch. You have to measure the reading and you have to write down all the values in this table. Now, just consider the second example. And now, for the second example, I am considering this material. So, in this diagram, you can see I have taken the three different containers. The first one is the plastic container. The second container, you can see this is a glass container. And the third container, you can take it's a steel container or a copper vessel. And uh, I am keeping the volume constant. So the volume the, of the water, 200 ml, 200 ml, and 200 ml. In all these cases, we have filled the water. We will place the thermometer. And again, you have to follow the same step as we did in this experiment. And uh, after taking the reading, children, you have to plot a graph. And you can see here this graph. Along the y-axis, you can take the temperature in degrees Celsius. And along the x-axis, the time. And then you have to plot the graph according to the values which are, you have taken in this table. Now, I am just uh, want to show you a demonstration how you will uh, perform the experiment if possible at home. So this is our glass vessel in you know in the school laboratory. It's easily available a glass beaker at at our home. Uh, we have this a glass. It may be a, you can take a cup or it's a glass. So for performing this experiment of volume, you can fill this glass with water a fixed volume. Uh, in our first trial, in first case, and then if the temperature is available, so you can. Uh, if thermometer is available, so you can measure the reading in the thermometer also. So you can perform this experiment at your home by taking uh, this glass and you can put some water in this. And the second case, you can change the volume. It's easy for us to change the volume. So in the second case, we can uh, fill the water at a different volume. And uh, for performing this experiment, uh, if we consider the material, so at our home, uh, we can take uh, a plastic glass, a uh, glass, uh, 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 the second case, we can take uh, a glass cup, a plastic cup, or maybe you can use a steel cup uh, to perform the same experiment at home. Thank you, children.